do it up the bloody van, he's got me me. Good morning on the 28th of July. Fry up Friday without the fry up? Oh, it's the 29th. Is it 29th? It's 29th. Two days before Alex buggers off to Sweden and leaves me. So, <clears throat> we're on. A bit of a demo job today. This drive that Alex has stood on is tarmac on top of a concrete pad. So this is all coming out, getting piled in the middle, ready to be taken, by, taken away by grab wagon. We're going to put a nice clean cut across the tarmac there to the fence, same on the other side. We're going to put an, an echo drain all the way through there. This isn't being touched for now, this side. <clears throat> We're going to put um, an edging down there, also known as, I think Justin calls it pink herbs. And then, yeah, that's all coming up. Then we're going to stone it all up. This wall's coming down. The pillar's coming down. We're going to concrete where the gate is. So we're going to replace that with a new wall coming off that pillar to about here. So a new wall across there. It's going to return there, it's going to sweep down to the you know, little low wall here in keeping with these planters. So it's going to curve around and it's going to step up, back up to there. So today's job is get all this chopped up. Well, I hope we, I hope we get it chopped up. <coughs> brought the stilly for cutting the tarmac and we've got the, the big breaker for the concrete. So, we've got Alex for today and tomorrow, and then Sunday it's off to the airport, so we're going to see how we get on in the next couple of days. So as always, we'll stick you on time lapse, and then um, we'll start making a mess.
Okay, we'll go a lot. Yeah. Um, virgin cable. Well spotted. Oh, Dad. Oh, bloody hell! Good job that popped up where it did, not it? We've got to connect the uh, echo drain into that. So we'll cut, cut that back there, put a bend on it into the echo. Damn lucky there. We'll put a, we'll put a T into that. There's one big pile of shit. That's how much we've got out so far. As you've seen from the time lapse and some of the video, this concrete in the in the driveway has to be coming up so easily. Nice and uh, it's been popping off nicely. And we're now we're onto this bit. We found the virgin cable and our pipe, which we're going to be connecting to. So quite lucky it's popped up where it has, and we haven't really smashed into it. But we know all where all that stuff is now. Still popping off nicely here too, as you can see. This is like, just never happens to us this. No. <laughs> this is uh, 11 o'clock and we're three quarters done. So we, we can get off and go and get the echoes, get, get the echoes, well, echoes and get them in today. Get them bedded in, get the concrete mixed. Happy days. Yeah, it only needs a bit of dragging out from there. So yeah, so uh, thankfully as well, the way that the uh, ground has cracked, We've kind of uh, managed to get the layout of where we want without even cutting yet. Probably will have to cut there, but you know, we've got a template, shall we say. As easy as it is, it's still bloody knackering. It's very humid today, as you can tell by the headband in. Up for the breeze. Yeah, so it's fun, but it's sapping because of this bloody heat. But we're just cracking on, so we'll get you back, get you set back up, 
and keep cracking. Twenty to twelve. Get lost. Honestly. Twenty to twelve. Eleven forty one. Yeah. There you go. I'll tell you what, we should run the clicky things for this one. Just stand aside now. That's it. Everything's up. It's now the ready for Steen his big crab wagon to come and get. Are we gonna get him tomorrow or? I'll, I'll message him this afternoon just see if we can come. I probably won't be able to come that short notice. But um, that's fine because we can work around that yet. It's not in the way. We've got edging to go down here. So the next job is fire up the stilly, see if the customs got a hose pipe, so we can do a bit of water suppression here. Before they get banned. Yeah, so we don't upset the neighbours. Um, yeah, get those two sides cut nice and neat, get rid of everything else, and then we can get a line up, start digging back to allow for our concrete, our pin curbs as Justin calls them. We call them curb edgings. Um, and the ACOs to go across here. There's nice straightforward pipe to connect to so we'll probably put a T on that and bring it round here and connect somewhere along here so another first for Alex what? aqua drains aqua yeah. drains so um I've looked at plenty mm, cleaned them out covered mm. them up yeah right we're rolling there's not been one for a while so I'm going to do one for Bill with A&E tip top top tip Okay, we've got to get a straight line across here. We've got to continue this brick wall line, both sides, because we're going to take the echo straight across. So, we need to get this line across. Normally you put it along the brickwork, but we have cables in the way. The virgin cable, then the aerial cable. We've got the power cable, which powers the um, car charger. All this mud and stuff's in the way. So what you do is, Bring your line off, doesn't matter how how far you want to do it, but that that measures 90 mil and show that. Just showing off the brand new tape. Hope you're watching this Tony. <laughs> Got numbers on the end of the tape. So 90 mil. So just parallel it. My god, that was a good guess. Is that brickwork clean? It is now. Let's look at that, that's more by luck than judgment. That's 85 mil, so we'll just there you go, 90 mil, yeah. Okay, back to the other end, just double check. Yep, 90 mil bang on. So now we go back to the van. So what we do now is measure back 90, mark it up, measure back 90, mark that up, 
and then scrape, score our line in the tarmac, get that cut, same the other end, measure back 90mm and then that's your line, nice straight line with the brickwork. Uh, just, it's just transferring the lines, that's all. So, tip top, top tip. Good afternoon. So, little update. Dad is leaving me again, as always, you know, with a song and dance. So, but as you saw in the time lapse, the ends have been cut off. Same on this side. This end, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a break because um, it didn't cut all the way through. So, we'll give it, give it a blast with the breaker, make sure all that doesn't break any time like we don't want it to. And, yeah. Uh, what's next? Yeah, so Dad's leaving, so while he's leaving to pick up the echo drains, my task is to get this wall taken down, up just up to under tarmac height, so that fourth course, all that out. And then I think this pillar's going too, so I'll save a few bricks to patch that pillar up, but this one's going as well, so all more for the pile. But these uh, are pretty some of these are tough cookies, so I'm going to get the breaker out on them too. And I think that's it. I'm too knackered to say anything. All the humidity is sucking me uh, life essence out of me. But um, yeah, so I'll probably get you set up somewhere while I tackle all this and uh, yeah. Well, that is not fun at all. Watch. I don't know if they've used mortar, concrete or granite for that, but that is ridiculously tough. If the Titan can't even break through it, then that's, that's ridiculous. And that's not going through the brick, mate, that's going through the bed. So, I'm going to have to try and see if I can get the big break from that awkward spot, but I think this is the speed bump. This wall's uh, going to be a nightmare to take. Some of it just pops off. Like, look at this. That, nice and loose. But then, after you go past the brick and edge in the first, like, two courses, you've got this bloody two-to-one mix, it feels like. So, I'll try and get you set back up somewhere so you can... Watch me struggle and suffer. <sighs> Well, when in doubt, give it a clout. Sledgehammer seems to have worked, mixed it with the bar, and uh, I just want to start filming and show you this. Just try and get in again. Now, I don't know about you, but that 
trailer seems a bit loose, don't you think? <laughs> so I think that might come down with one push to be honest, in fact, let's set you up and see if it does. Seems a bit loose, don't you think? <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't even look like. Looks like it's hardly got any ties in it at all. Maybe like one or two. Oh well. And timber. <laughs> I certainly hope that was coming out because uh, it was not going to last. Look at that. Knackered. And uh, did, like you say, looks like there's only one brick. No. No, there's no ties. No ties at all. Just one standalone pillar. Nothing in it to bond it. So. I'll break that up a bit later and then try and scavenge some brick too so we can fix the top of this. Well, at least the wall's looking a bit more demolished, which at the start of this I was thinking no chance, but let's crack on. And the pile of shit is even bigger. <laughs> so I've cleared up all the uh, rubble from the wall. The pillar's there because we're going to break that up and salvage some, like I said. I've not used these for a long time. I've not seen him for a long time. He's been gone for ages, but the reason he's been gone is I've just found out the wall is being topped off with blue engineering bricks. So Dad's been making sure all these bricks are nice. Just standing there. Because uh, if you've ever worked with if you've ever worked with blue engineering, you know that it can be pretty crap, <laughs> shall we say, in terms of the quality. So he's got some of them. He's loading them up now. I'm going to pack up all the power tools because we're going to take a, a nip to our spare garage to pick up the rest of the stone. That thing. Probably one of the best £130, £139 <laughs> Yeah, the MVP of today is that breaker. I'll tell you what, it made life a whole lot easier. Because as you saw, trying to break that up with the uh, with the Titan just didn't cut it. So it would have really struggled breaking up all this concrete. But yeah, so Dad's getting all them. I'm packing up and I'll probably help him move some brick once I'm packed up. Show him the echoes. Oh yeah, no, forgot about that. He's picked up the echoes as well. So. Oh, and the 
What are they again? Echoes. Oh, um, we call them curb etchings. Justin Brickwright calls them pin curbs. So pin curbs according to Justin. Don't ask people to write in the suggestions. <laughs> And here's the Echoes. And these ones are also suited for driveways, so they, they are correct. So no bashing us, because we made sure we got the right ones. So enough of me standing around watching Dad load out. Let's uh, get packed up and get home. And we'll uh, catch you tomorrow for getting all this concreted in.